Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. This time, we're gonna look at a new feature for iPadOS 14 called Scribble. Scribble allows you to use your iPad and your Apple Pencil to write into apps where before you could only type. So now, instead of bringing out the soft keyboard or using a real keyboard and typing it in with your fingers, you can use the Apple Pencil to actually write into the field and it will convert your handwriting into actual text. When you install iPadOS 14, it asks you if you want to turn Scribble on, but if you missed that or you didn't switch it on, all you need to do is go to the settings and then search for Apple Pencil. And there's a Scribble page for Apple Pencil and you can see you can toggle Scribble on and off like that. You'll also notice there's a Try Scribble link here. When you press that, it gives you a chance to like understand what Scribble actually does. Along the top here, we've got Handwrite, Delete, Select, insert join so we can have a practice on the things it can do you can just start writing and it should recognize the text and it will take you through all the other options you have like delete so you can actually scratch out a word to delete it then you can select one by circling it you can insert by pressing and holding I just press and hold between new and word there. And then you can join words together and separate them by drawing a little line through them like that. Okay, so that's all Scribble does. Now we can use it in some of the other Office apps that you have on the iPad. Okay, so first let's look at To Do. When I start up To Do, you'll notice I can just start writing into the new task field and it will complete the sentence for me. And remember, I can always delete by scribbling over. I can circle and so on. So I can do all the things that we just looked at. Notice also that you've got this icon in the bottom left, this pen icon. When I press that, it brings up a toolbar and I've got some other options here. I can bring up a keyboard if I want to, so I can use the pen to type in a keyboard. And that's also useful because it makes suggestions on the word that you were typing to. So if it thinks here I might be trying to type or write newsletter, I can just choose newsletter as well. So sometimes that's useful too. You can also do this with new lists. So if I come down to the new list button here, um, I can come up into this section. If I just close the keyboard there, I can just start writing into this section here. So to change the name of the list, I can scribble to delete the existing name. And then if I start writing, it deletes what I write for the first time, but then I can go in and add the list name in. There you go, so it's recognized it pretty well. So to do is good if, if you want to use the pen to write your task and your list. Next, let's look at Outlook. And you'll notice that when you create a new email, so if I press the new button here, I can start writing into the to field. Start writing Megan, and it's going to suggest all the names in my directory, starting with Megan or including Megan. So I just select it like that. And then I can write in the subject. So there's some support for Outlook already. I've also seen in the roadmap that Microsoft are releasing a fully supported version of Outlook for iOS 14 that has Scribble support, but no more details as to exactly what that will include. So far, this works for the to and the subject field, and it also works for search as well. So there's your introduction to Scribble. I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.